Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? 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 It is I. The Strike Unseen of Unseen Strike. On Stronghold Dawn of War. And today, we have, and it better be a good one, coming off of the game we just saw, Imperial Guard vs. Zeldar, if it gets uploaded in that order, was a fantastic game. I haven't seen such a quality game in a while. Um, we're going to go in here. I believe this is a 3v3. Don't quote me. Ooh, Bloodshed Alley. Eldar Necron Imperial Guard versus Random Random Chaos. Did we see this game? Maybe? Knobsman Worst Player and Draken versus Phoenix, Kokoro, and Rani. Orcs. Space Marines. Maybe we haven't. And Chaos. Versus Sisters of Battle. No. Necrons. Eldar. Guard. Okay, maybe we haven't. Alright, I'm sorry. So, Bloodshed Alley looks real similar, no matter who's playing on it. So. Alright, we have an Orc Necron matchup. Necron's going quad gens. Eldar players got double gens with the Fleet of Foot build. Let's see, that's probably going to be a standard build. Double gens from the Imperial Guard into oh, hey, Infantry Command. Interesting. Chaos is going for the Chaos Temple versus the Armory build. Space Marine player here doing the Space Marine thing. Let's see if he gets his Force Commander. I believe... No, that's Karev. Phoenix is our Orc player. He's saying, a Relic is yours. I don't know who he's saying that to. It seems like he's saying it to the Space Marine player. And Force Commander is coming out first. Okay. So, 3v3, Bloodshed Alley. Three lanes, one down the middle. Lanes on the sides are all heavy cover up the sides. Uh, middle player really determines the game, and vice versa. The side players determine your game in the middle. Uh, there's our Dark Reapers. They're coming out. Let's see if he goes for another Dark Reaper or a Farseer. Fleet of Foot's almost done. I like this Beal 10 color scheme we got going on. And the Necrons are all white. It's pretty cool. Can't tell the Orc Clan. We have Ultramarines up the middle. And I want to say this is some sort of Alpha Legion kind of thing going on. Blue and red. Maybe Night Lords, actually. Okay, big mechs coming out. I didn't see... Does he have shooters out, or is he going all sluggers? I didn't see. Looks like just sluggers. It's a little bit early to tell. He's getting his Gretchen in retration. Up the middle, Chaos is pushing with Space Marines. Um, and Orcs are capping up the side. So, again, yeah, this map is very team dependent. Um... You, you may be pushing up really far down one lane and your mid lane's pushed all the way back and maybe your right lane's doing kind of okay. You kind of want to force 2v2v1s and, you know, be fluid with your army and move back and forth. Transports work really well here to kind of move you through the heavy cover faster. Um, as you can see, this Chaos player is pushed back all the way to his side of the map, his Relic right now. Imperial Guard is going to get a lot of free kills if he stays here too long enough with his triple command squad. He's in range mode, which is a mistake. He wants to get into melee and really kill some of these heretic models. Force Commander's here. He will lose to this command squad if the third model comes in. Guardsmen are just capping up nice and slow, taking their time. In the middle, Eldar also really pushed to the halfway point. Team 1 is very aggressive right now. Team 2 is kind of just sluggish out of the gates. Sluggers, 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 anybody? Anybody see sluggers? No sluggers. Um, very, very scary here. I'm a, little, I'm a little afraid for Team 2 again. Not everybody's an MLG player, so let's see. Um, Imperial Guard are coming for these Chaos boys. Sluggers running into Dark Reapers. Very scary for them. Very scary. Um, sluggers are pretty, pretty resilient, though. They'll take a few volleys to kind of die. Uh, Chaos player... Attacking into tier 2 already, like a, uh, an animal. Space Marine attacking into tier 2, and I want to say the no Orcs are as well. So, Team team 2 is hard teching, Team 1 is doing their thing, Eldar teching into tier 2, and, and Necrons are being Omega Greedy. Omega Greedy. Second Dark Reaper squad up, and this is where trouble begins for everybody in the middle. Uh, orcs don't have any shooters. Big Mac in heavy cover is going to pick off some, some some Guardians, but, I mean, he can't hold this position forever, can he? Can he? I like the run to heavy cover here by the Eldar, but look at that. Now he's in big, big trouble. He needs to teleport out immediately. 
Imperial Guard player still up in Chaos's face. Space Marines have to come over and help him out. Was this relic worth it? He could have pushed all the way through into these guardsmen. This is how you know we're in trouble. Necron player is walking all the way over to the orc base. Shooters are now coming out, but I feel like it's super late. The mid engagement's almost been lost. Big Mech is is critical health condition. Space Marines are just now helping push these guardsmen back. And this is the danger of all three players going into hard tech mode. Um, now they've lost so much ground in the middle. This eco is all for on the other team now. Look at this death ball of Eldar. This needs to be cut down. This needs to be cut down immediately. Gretchen are invisible though. They're going to get some repairing and love to see this teamwork. And Space Ranger is going to try and pick off some models. Force Commander is going to try and be brave. Uh, maybe some scout snipers? Question mark, question mark. Second Space Marine squad coming. Vehicle depots coming down. Um, we see defilers, so we're going to see some artillery from Chaos. Orcs are being pushed back bad here. Big Mac is not going to make it out of this fight. Down he goes. Necrons are waddling into Orc territory. Uh, team number two is going to be panicking soon. Look at these Gretchen repairing still. Love this. And let's see what these Space Marines get. No Sergeant. Second squad's coming up now. Maybe some Heavy Bolters. Maybe some Land Speeders. No Tempest. Just the Speeders would be really great versus Eldar Army. Um, one of them will get killed by this. You need to have two. And here we go. Necrons are pushing in. Um, nice thing about the Necrons, uh, or this this push, Orc base turrets will hold the Necrons back for a while. You're not going to be able to push into all of this. Uh, upgraded LP. Turrets shooting galore. It's going to hold for now. Gretchen's just getting pot shots, doing one damage. Imperial Guard are digging in here. Vehicles are coming soon. What's the Eldar doing? Eldar took the Thermal Plasma Generator. Oh my lord. Very scary. Did the uh, Necron player is just now taking his Thermal Plasma? I believe there's another Thermal Plasma on the side. Space Marines are getting pushed back as well. Defiler's shooting. Armory's real far forward. He's getting a Rhino. Okay, love to see the Rhino. Phoenix is saying, I am fine here. He is right. He does not need help. Uh, but the Space Marines helping is really nice. If he can pick off a couple of these models, it'll be, give him some breathing room. Look at that. Necron player forced to warp all the way back. And here we go. The artillery is pushing these Eldar troopers back. Artillery pushing the guard back. First Chimera is out. Imperial Guards going Sentinels. Triple Sentinels would be very scary. I'm a big, big proponent. I'm a big pusher for Sentinels. Wraith Lords coming out. Eldar Eco is, is dominating right now. Um, and especially with a Necron player in their pocket. Uh, team number one is looking very scary. Um, with their attack, Eldar Tier 3 is very scary. These shooters are going to get melted. And hopefully this artillery starts laying in and giving them some, some support. Imperial Guards getting their vehicles up. Chaos is still trying to retake this relic. Forget the relic, brother. Forget it. One, two, three, four, five, six gens. Chaos is being chaos. They just can't help it. They just can't help hard teching. Eldar trying to build a webway gate here. I don't know if this is the body block, this rhino, or what's going on here. Sentinel's getting some shots in. I think I see a Necron Death Ball in the middle. Here they come. Necron Death Ball's coming. Eldar vehicle's showing up for the fight. We see a critical mass of Defilers here. And Defilers are just okay. Not great, not bad, just okay. Flamethrowers and auto cannons on the ranged attack with their artillery. He is using Webway Gates to body block. What a cheeky Eldar. He's got double Bright Lances here. Does he have another one for triple? Another one is coming. Imperial Guard player just hanging out, building up mass of what? Sentinels? Is he going tier 3? Tier 3 is coming. I'd like to see from Chaos some horrors. He's just getting more defilers, it appears. We're under attack! Oh, excuse me, needed some water. Orc's actually doing surprisingly well. Let's see if he gets in a nice flank here to help out. Space Marines have a death, <laughs> a really deadly force of bolters and plasma guns. They'll rip through even these 1 1 upgraded Necron Warriors. This is also scary. Uh, we see missile launchers from these Space Marines. 
Is it enough missile launchers is the question. Sorcerer drops. Melee from the Defiler and the Wraith Lord. Sentinel's getting in back shots on this Defiler. Love seeing it. Again, Chaos pushed off of this Relic. Defiler number one goes down. Guardians are getting vision on the Defiler. Defiler's gonna rip this Warlock to pieces. Gets thrown, poor guy. Triple Rhino here, so a lot of juggling from our Space Marine player. Okay, Chaplain's here. Whoa. Triple Wraith Lord running it down the middle. This is the Eldar win condition here, especially with a Sentinel or two backing them up. One stray missile from these, these Space Marines will take the Sentinels down. Um, Defiler goes down. Triple Wraith Lord beating down the Defiler here. Beat it, beat it. Let's see, maybe we'll see a sink kill. Do we see it? Yes, rip his head off. Take that, you puny, puny Defiler. What, how do you feel about that, huh? You want a post-game interview? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Spawn out, go back into the warp trash. All right, Defiler's still trying their best. One Wraith Lord goes down to an Emperor Blessed Missile. There's a Chaplain now supporting this force. Let's see what upgrade he's getting. He's getting his ranged increase. I'd love to see a third Space Marine attack squad. And again, where are these land speeders? All this infantry we can cut down. Even right here, a couple land speeders would rip through these Necron Warriors. Maybe a land speeder Tempest with frag grenades. Uh, massive. <laughs> Is it one, two, three tank buster squads shooting missiles into infantry? Interesting choice. I don't see any destroyers out from the Necron player. Maybe he's prepping for a monolith push up his front door. Necrons are slowly pushing this back. Um, at the same time, we have cluster bombs coming down. Hell Talon out, taking out the Sentinels, and again, trying to fight over this this relic. I, uh, it's a losing fight here, and, and there's a Rhino. Necron player yeets out of there. I guess he was afraid. I, I think this Rhino's... Oh, it wasn't empty. Okay, so good call from the Necron player. He would have lost all that. Necron Lord is going to go down here. And the unfortunate thing is he's going to get repurchased and just spawn right here because the Necrons are just a garbage race. Garbage then. Now they get free vision for Flayed Ones if they so wish. Horror Squad's being lit on fire by Eldar. And I always thought the Eldar Flamethrowers should have been a different color. They're an advanced alien race. Come on. Bone Singers in the back. These walking lances are going to just rip through anything. Um, it's too late to kind of mass any defilers. Love this minefield from Chaos. Unfortunately, mines are not what you want versus vehicles. Knobsman is putting rectangles in the chat. Somebody get the geography textbook out. What is he saying? Nobody knows. Wraith detector units ripping through these very expensive tank busters. Or he was thinking about it, at least. And here we go. Elder Death Ball is coming again. That's why I wanted to see one more attack squad. Maybe a librarian for Word of the Emperor. Um, this is a lot of shooting. Kasserkin in the back. Good, good. Love to see it. Look at this. In heavy cover. With their Eldar brethren. And these poor, poor space marines in the middle. Okay, horrors are coming in. They're going to try and take down all these Wraith Lords. This tank bus is in here as well. They may actually do it. Warp Spiders coming to take the horrors out. A morale instantly broken. I didn't see what broke their morale instantly. Curious. I didn't, I didn't even see them throw haywire grenades, and they jump out. Uh, I think two Wraith Lords went down, maybe a third. This is a lot of AV. Predator comes up. Very ballsy choice with all these Wraith Lords. Imperial Guard putting a field command down right there, because that's the spot I'd land my field command. And here comes the Necrons. Tomb Spider is going to be able to pick all of these warriors up and just spawn destroyers right on the front line if he does so. Please, for free. There he goes. He's beginning. And again, this is why Necron Warrior pushes on the same spot over and over and over, and letting them die is so, so strong for a late-game Necron player. Let's see what he decides to spawn out. If you get, I believe it's nine bodies, you spawn a full health squad of your choice. Either it be Flayed Ones, Necron Warriors, Destroyers. Um, he gets more Necron Warriors. Oh, I hate Necron players. At least get some variety, like this Eldar player. Triple Warp Spiders. Come on. Kasserkin laying down the fire. Another Defiler there, second Defiler cooking. And he's building all these turrets, but the Imperial Guard player decided to never push here. So a lot of resources being wasted. And it looks like the battle's kind of shifted back to the Orc base, which is odd because 
Again, these orc turrets are not slouches, especially with the orky Ford HQ. All four turrets will do a lot of damage. Space Marine player looking for the ideal spot to unload, you know, just for the heck of it. And no frag grenades. Some frag grenades here would be huge. There's one. One more. It is a lot of micro sometimes tabbing through these squads. All missile launchers as well. Keep them in the Rhino next time. Plasma gun, I guess, firing. And here comes the Eldar Death Ball right on the uh, HQ of the Space Marine player. And this is where an Eldar is scary. You get enough Wraith Lords here, and they just do supreme damage with those lances. And the CC from the Imperial Guard player. Just a lot of BM going on all around. Let's see, is the Field Command going to finish? It's finished, but it still has the lattice work up. GG from Ronnie. I don't know how I feel about him fast teching for Defilers, but that's a conversation for another day. This horde of tank busters needs to be in the mid here. He's shooting all these salvos off of warp spiders. Bad game, says the Space Room player. And then he spawns a bunch of rectangles. I concur. He spawns additional rectangles, and Knobsman also seems unhappy with the rectangles. Um, Knobsman was the Eldar player, so rectangles all around for everybody. We'll have one of our experts in the chat translate why they're saying rectangle. Uh, and I'll get back to you. We'll get back to you on why. First Lord Destroyer I've seen in the game. Let's see how many Orc Tank Buster Salvos it takes. It's one, two, three, dead. God, imagine, imagine playing Necrons and sleeping at night. Can you imagine? What's wrong with these people? He knows this horde of Orc Tank Busters is here. He's pushed into the, the Orc base like four times. He knows there's a horde of them. Why would he just drive it in there? Oh, I can't stand Necron players. They make me so sad. Ogren's finally decided to push the turret line. Running through a minefield. Helltown dropping bombs on them from the roof. Lehman Russ has finally showed up. Toxin bomb goes down. Rare, rare, rare ability. You don't see this very often. Uh, I don't know if it does damage over time. Oh my, and a Bane Blade shows up. Is it damage over time? Does it lower armor? Does, can anybody confirm? I don't play Chaos. I have, I, I have standards. I, I mean, like, there's toxicity on that, but he's not losing any health. What? Is that just a, a visual bug? What's happening there? Can somebody tell me? They're not losing health. Morale maybe being broken? I mean, there was horrors with flamethrowers. Uh, kick possessed. I don't know. This is a scary Eldar army. This is why Eldar is the strongest faction in general games. Uh, this economy is not to be joked around with. When you have Eldar having a thermal plasma generator before the five minute mark, they don't have to spend money building more small generators. They just get this one big one. Then they, at their leisure, build on additional generators, and bam, they spam out Wraith Lords like that. Again, yeah, Necron's very scary with their own thermal plasma, but by the time he wheels his grandmother ridden monolith, from the nursing home all the way down Bloodshed Alley. You're looking at like six monolith teleports all for the orc tank buster wave. I guess that's what he was preparing for. A monolith, but with detection, tank busters are not what you want. Um, and the Imperial Guard player played really well. Really just kept chaos contained. Had their relic most of the game. Killed most of their cultists off early. Really like seeing a couple sentinels putting the defiler numbers down. Space Marine player, I'm not sure what I watched. I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's pull up the stats screen here. Rectangle talking a lot of shit. His score does not reflect talking a lot of shit. That's all I'm going to say. Knobsman as well. He was the Eldar player. What was his resource count at? He actually still didn't get more power than Worst Player or Necron Player. But he got pretty close. Anyway, that game's all done. I will see you guys on the next one.